President-elect Trump is on the receiving end of some nasty tweets. Anonymous is a group of online hackers that have issued a number of threatening messages. At the core of the message that he's going to, quote, regret the next four years. So joining us now to discuss this is Lisa Edichico, technology reporter at Time Magazine. Lisa, great to speak with you. Yes, thank you for having me. Let's talk a little bit about these tweets from Anonymous. How threatening do you think these messages are? Uh, and do you think their group actually has information that it can release on the next president? I think that is yet to be determined. Right now, they're making it clear that Donald Trump is a target and that he will continue to be for the next four years. They've targeted him in the past, um, and they haven't had as much luck with, with some of their um, targeted attacks against Trump in the past. But I think what they're really trying to reiterate here is that he will continue to be a target. And it, it's hard to tell if they actually have substantial information. Right now, they're kind of citing um, claims that, that have not been substantiated yet. So I think time will tell. Yeah, and let's say Anonymous actually does manage to release some unsavory info that it has uh, hacked and gotten its hands on. How would this impact Trump? It's something that he's definitely going to have to address either way. Um, if they do manage to get information, whether it's true or false or whether it's already been out there, people will be talking about it if they choose to expose it. So he's, he's going to have to address it head on if, if it is something that comes out to the public. Are you surprised he isn't attacking back on Twitter? Not completely. I mean, he, he is known to, to be very vocal on Twitter, and he knows he has a giant support group on, on Twitter that, that follows him and backs him. Um, I think maybe he's, he's not acknowledging it because nothing has actually come of it yet. Right now, it's just a, a Twitter threat. There hasn't been any information that has actually been exposed. So I think he'll wait until Anonymous takes action to actually retaliate on Twitter. And as we count down to the inauguration, do you think uh, the president-elect's Twitter use leaves him more vulnerable to threats, especially if he continues to use his personal account uh, as the president? It does open him up in some respect. I mean, he, he's chosen that and he's stuck with it from the beginning to be very vocal on his personal Twitter account. I think he knows that that's part of um, what, what got him such a giant following and, and a giant support. Um, he, Twitter for him is kind of like a continuous support rally that, that never actually ends. So I, I don't see it stopping anytime soon. But I think if that's his decision, he, he's going to have to um, stick with it and realize that there may be risks involved and that it's something that he will have to keep an eye on. Yeah, and certainly for those of us in the media, it, it definitely provides a sort of unprecedented glimpse into the mind of the leader of the free world. It's, uh, we'll have to see how this, how this transpires. Lisa Edichico, thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you for you. watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.